Hey, hey, Denise here with Making Meals Better. Today, Ken has meatloaf on tap with some kind of surprise twist. I'm kind of in the dark. Although, maybe not as in the dark as I think. Hello, Anima! <laughs> sushi? I just petted my sushi. Uh-huh, sure he was. I was, he even wash my hands. Good plan, baby cakes. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, it's so dark. Rain, rain, rain. That helps a little. <laughs> the light's on, but nobody saw them. Oh, jeez. So, what we got going on here? We got a, oh, a 1.6 pounds of uh, ground beef and pork mix. We got one egg. I'm going to add a little, I usually do Italian seasoning. I'm going to use a little jerk in it. <gasps> Holy smokes, no Italian seasoning, whatever will I do? <laughs> Jerk. Uh, we're gonna have breadcrumbs, I got carrots, I got onions, and I got hash brown potatoes. Frozen so, ones, or did you, yeah, did no, you cut them Yeah, no, they're frozen. Up? I'm not gonna do your quite so traditional meatloaf, because you know how you make meatloaf, and everybody puts like carrots in the pan, taters in the pan, putting your mine in the meatloaf. Ooh. So, I got a half an onion here, chopped up. Uh -huh. Throw that in there. Okay. Down hound. Bing bing. So, take my carrot, cut it into some pieces here. Those are mighty big pieces. What you gonna do with that? Throw it in the food processor. Oh. Oh wow. So, sprinkle some carrots in there. That yeah, looks like enough carrots. Put them all in. Yeah, that's a lot of carrots. Oh, yeah, it is kind of a lot. Hash brown potatoes. Not very much potatoes. Well, I guess if you're putting them in with the carrots. Didn't look like very much. Maybe a half cup. Yeah. That's close. Yeah, I don't know how he's much a it smart is. guy sometimes. I just, pull, I just pulled it out. An egg. Only one? You always tell me one egg per pound. Or is this a and wait and see? Don't put the shells in there. Nope, I'm gonna have one egg. So, got one egg. Do you see him in the microwave when he does that, guys? Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you're catching the replay, give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna use about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. If you're catching me live, give me a smile face. The breadcrumbs hold the meat together. I thought eggs held the meat together. Well, the breadcrumbs and the eggs. The eggs and the the eggs, and I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there too. Probably about a quarter cup of water. It'll keep it from being drying out from the breadcrumbs. Oh dear. Oh dear. Spicy, spicy. Spicy, spicy. Quarter cup of water. Believe it or not, a few weeks ago, someone questioned our use of a dry measuring cup instead of a liquid one. We tested it out. They appear to hold the same. Dry or wet? Yeah. Like we measured a quarter cup of water in there and then put it in our quote unquote liquid measure and it was about the same. So, just so you know, we're here to test these theories too. We're like myth busters. Hmm. Sprinkle some more breadcrumbs in there. Okay. Sorry, you gotta wiggle a little bit, people. Oh, gotta put you down. How do you like that? Hmm. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on. More? More? That's good. That was a lot, guys. That wasn't that much. Looked like a lot. I'm just trying to get. You know, you got, all that, you got all that moisture in there that you want to <laughs> you wanna dry it out. Too much or water wanna, is what it sounds like to me. This is a pretty big piece of meat. I know. Good thing this you is, got two pans here. This is, well, the two pans are because I'm out of aluminum foil. Normally, you cover it with aluminum foil. I'm going to cover oh, it with another pan. I see. And I'm not going to make it big and round because it'll take longer to cook. I'm going to make it a little bit flatter. I'm going to spread it out a little bit. Uh-huh. Because then it won't take as long to cook. 
it'll take about an hour to cook. Then at the hour point, then I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna uncover it. Then I'm gonna put my, uh, my, my sauce on it. You can use just about anything for sauce. Ketchup. Like ketchup. I like ketchup. I grew up with ketchup. What did you guys grow up with on your meatloaf? I, I like Leave to mix, me a comment. What did you put? I like to mix barbecue sauce, mustard, honey. He just likes stuff. But I'm gonna use a, uh, a maple syrup based barbecue sauce with. Is it that one from the honey, Caribbean or? Honey Jack Daniels in it. Is this the one from the state fair yeah, last year? Yeah, this one from the state fair we got several years ago. Maybe when you get your hands washed, bring it over so we can look at it. Like five years ago. It was not five years ago. It sure was. I don't think so. The one had a date of 15 of it here. And maybe it was. Still good though. What are you doing over there? I get a lot of meat off my hands. There's cakes on your hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. need to go outside, little monster? Show me the sauce. Grab the sauce. Who's not gonna go outside? Show me the sauce. Don't get it too close to my face here. Mm. What's it say? Backwoods barbecue Backwoods. sauce. Hmm. Well, there we go. I guess we'll see what that one is. Okay. Shake well before using. <laughs> All right. Don't spray the pan. Spray the pan, cause you know. Olive oil the pan. Olive oil the top. These are not nine by thirteen pans. I don't know what they are. Nine by eleven, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. They're not my pans. They're your pans. Okay, so how long do you have to be married before they're our pans? I didn't buy them. They're not my pans. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anybody think that's bizarre? <laughs> Our anniversary's coming up. Mm hmm. Soon. 13 years. Are you sure it's 13 years? Yep. I'm positive. Are you? What year were we married, dear? 13 years ago. I'm right. Maybe Paul knows. Paul was there. Yeah, that was 13 years. It was all six, dear. I know! 13 years ago! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna put this in here. You see that guy's sauceless. Sauceless for the first hour. On uh, 400 degrees. I put it at 400. You can click it at whatever. Well, so, an hour, then, then uncover it, put your sauce on, put it back in for another half hour. Half hour? Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, hour and a half, dear. Wow. It's meatloaf. It ain't ready, loaf. All right. Well, check back in with us. You can catch the replays on YouTube at Making Meals Better. You can sign up for the recipes to get delivered to your inbox at nowgetgoing.com. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> well, oh, I can do that. Okay. And you can do what? You can do what? And I made it big and I made it small. Okay, that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> And in, in case you didn't know, I also talk a whole lot about menopause and how food and exercise affects menopause. Yeah, my rule is called mental pause. Keep a watch out for my stuff. We're doing a brain fog boot camp coming up toward the end of the month.